world at large. Bwana anasema Bwana. The Lord is saying, He is the Lord of all with flesh. Whatever religion you have, whatever church you have, whatever you have, you have to believe this thing today for God to work with you. God doesn't work with people who hesitate. Of this faith of hesitating. We are not among those such people. But those who have the faith. Who believe that. God can create anyone to be somebody. Anyone. Amen. Amen. And the sister from Lord Wahwa TB. There she is. That this is called TB these days. They don't mention they say this is TB. It's TB. You'll be healed. You'll be healed. You'll be healed. That's what they say. Did her mention it herself? But we know it is TB. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But yeah, John Bomboya. Boy, I bring a microphone here. Can be a to tell us very briefly. What, what, what's your mean, what so those who don't believe to be able to believe. Bwana, that the Lord is the world with flesh. What is it that they cannot do? Amen. Amen. I'm grateful to God of the founder mother. Inside his pastor. For what he did for me during the crusade, I was sick. I had AIDS. Then from 1992, I was sick for 10 years. And I got that safe place because of not obeying. I didn't receive my father. I didn't receive my mother. Until like when I got married, then I wasn't receiving the husband either. I, I, left, I left the husband because I wanted every type of lingerie. When I left him, I saw I'd better move around on this earth to look for some subsistence. Because when I left the husband, you receive the gentiles straight away. They tell you, let's go this way to get money. And I didn't know from, when I went to Uganda, I was looking for death. I didn't know that. And I went along with a son of Uganda. He did very great things for me. And those great things he did for me was giving me things to consume. I did that man was sick. I didn't know that he had AIDS. Because during those days, a thin man was said to have AIDS. But that man was so fat. He committed adultery with me. I was given every type of clothes to sell. I was selling these clothes in Kenya. And I saw it was very luxurious. Today. Then I was. I would dress very well. I would make my hair very well. I would do every type of luxury that I wanted. But I didn't know that all these things meant death. At that time when that man died, that's when I started trembling. And people started telling me that man had AIDS. Then I was amazed, dear. I really regret it. I said, if I had my mother and my father, I would never get this thing. I didn't listen to the husband either. And they told me to come down. And whenever there's any weakness, God will surely uplift us. Therefore, my dear brethren, I don't want to talk too much because of the time. The body I have now, I saw every type and sign of AIDS 
I didn't have any hair on. At the time I went to Kitara, I had a wig on my head. And I used to hide myself. I didn't want anybody to see me. Because I've grown so lean. People said, told me I was a stick. Then I had ulcers throughout the whole body. And I did, as it reached me, I when you greet your companion like this, you have to accept it. When they knew that I had AIDS, when I wanted to catch hold of them, they put my hand very quickly. Then I really was very sad. So one sister testified to me about this way. She told me, there's a miraculous healing this faith of miracle church. So I went to Liranda church. I received the pastor there. He told me and went with him to the crusade. I knew the pastor was going to talk about me. At the place I was going with my weakness, the pastor told me about this, the travel thing. I was given something very dear so, so that I made it made, uh, made the obvious thing about caterpillar. I remember the 992 I was knocked by a caterpillar. That's why all my joy and health was removed from that for me. When I started praying for people with different diseases, I put my hands together. And I believed that God is able to do everything. And when he prayed, I got some new strength. And I was weak then. I sat down. Meaning, you know, getting the healing of Christ, of Christ is different from different other healings. I sat there for two hours, feeling myself. And from that place up to this time, I left the AIDS there. Who Pray that you tell it. Right now, I said, now what do I do this God of mine? I went back home. I was healed. I don't use any medicine at this time. I tried to test my brothers and sisters. They called me. They see you becoming more beautiful and more happy. What did you discover this faith? I told them I've discovered that Jesus is Lord and he heals. To all those who agree. It told me that I thought I'd better go and set to inform them of the truth of the healing. And sure I'm grateful to this God of the Father Mother in the pastor. I've been in Lodwa from the month of October, August. And I'm grateful to God that gospel of Lord was going forward so much because Right now, people are recognizing miracle revival in Aponya. That miracle revival heals. The brothers and sisters there, so many in our church, that Lord will church. Those who have been healed. This, uh, this is the center of hate there. There are some who are able to go to come. And there are those we have right here. And whoever has believed in Jesus to be healed, you have to agree. And once you agree this night, you leave your troubles here and you go home very safely. And I ask you, brothers, anyone, maybe saved, maybe a heathen, take care of this word of obeying and be guided and be able to protect your body. 
Lakini na muomba ndugu Samuel. But I'm asking brother Samuel. Mwenye ametoka Lodwa. Who's come from Lodwa? Mwenye alikuwa na hali ya udhaifu kama mimi. Who was as weak as I was. Akaacha kazi yake. He left his job. Lakini through you uponyaji ya miracle. But through the healing of miracle church. Kazi yako hapa. He's now here. Amekuja. He's come kuarudishia shukurani. To say thank you to all of you. God of the founder mother. Pamoja na dada. And there's a sister. Na dada Esther. Sister Esther, they're all here. Thank you very much. Joseph for Haji Wiki Swahili kabisa anajua kile kikwetu kuruta kinaitukana. Joseph never knows any Swahili, he knows only Turkana language. Kakuma. Kakuma. Uyo, this one, alikuwa muzijana huko mbeleni. Was a girl before baka akaolewa until he, got, he was married akawa kwa bwana he remained with a husband lakini kwa imani hii but by this faith alipozika mafundisho when he had the, the teachings akasema jamani mimi ziku wa mke the dear i'm not a woman ni mila yetu tu ilitia utumani it's just our custom that put, put me in bondage shauri akapokea bwana yesu he said to receive all jesus aombewa was prayed for leo ni ndugu today is a brother ni ndugu leo he's a brother today hata tutamuoza we shall unite him in marriage very soon Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo nikirudia ile neno ndugu sasa. The four fear be that what my dear brethren. Je, mtaamini usiku wa leo yoo bwana? Now then will you believe this night this Lord ni wa wote wenye mwili? That he is for all of flesh. Kwa sababu watu wana machozi mengi sana. Some people are shedding tears really. Mungu aliniumba vipi? How did God create me? Mimi niliumbwaje mimi? How was I created? Mungu alinikataa mimi? Did God refuse me? Uh -huh. Oh no. Kuwa na amani usiku kwamba. Be at peace at this night say. Wapendwa na Mungu sana. You're really loved by God. Ni wewe hujamwamini tu. It's because you haven't believed him. Wewe hujamkubali. You have not accepted me either. Anasema nirudie mwanangu. He says come back to me my son. Nami nitakurudia. And I'll return to you. Rudi kwa moyo wako wote usiku wa leo. Return with the whole of your you are and be very sure that God loves you very much. And that's why I brought you here. Forgot to remove this hardness which, was, which is in you. You must be settled at least. You'll be prayed for, it's all right. But after being prayed for, I'm asking you, stay calm, sit down. When you go to a poem, sit down and be grateful for these prayers. That's what God will create you. Now when you pray for him, ugangani, tomorrow you are there, uku, and sometimes you are there, then you go to the street, zako, with your money, imani, with no faith, mungu umbaje, mutu hatuli, huyu. how will God create anything in somebody who doesn't say, stay calm? Mukikanda ni yangu if you abide in me na maneno yangu yakanda ni yenu so what's abide in you maneno ya kukaa what's we to be abide in you utakalo utapewa whatever you want you will be given lakini wenye kutanga tanga but you keep wandering ukisika Nairobi kuna hiki mbio if you there's something like this ukisika Malindi kuna hiki mbio if you there's something in Malindi you go there mimi niko hapa i am here tangu mwaka 59 niko hapa i'm still here if I don't get asked, what I search for the hindrance that's blocking me from getting. Mungu anatumia ndugu. And God will use a brother. Mungu anatumia wadada. God will use the sisters. Mungu anatumia ujumbe wote. God will use his message. Mungu atasema na mimi. I'm going to talk to me. Nitasikia nikitini napata. I'll hear and if I obey, I get. Lakini mtu wa kutangatanga huyu ni mtu wa lana. But one who wanders around, this was a man of cast. Na mtu namna hii hapati kitu kwa Mungu. And such a person never gets anything from God. Mwisho tutatangaza waongo. Finally say we are liars. Na ni wewe ambaye hukai kwa Yesu. And it's you that doesn't abide with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi uomba niombe watu ambao wanakaa. I ask to pray for people who are sick. Kwa ni wakokoka ukae kwa kokoka. If you are prayed for salvation, you stay with salvation. Ukiombewa umoja ukae kwa umoja. If you prayed for unity, you, you abide by the unity. Ukiombewa utakatifu ukae kwa utakatifu. If you prayed for holiness, you stay with holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elisha alikaa kwa Yahilija. He stayed with the wife of Elijah. Simisho naye. Then finally. Akasema eh Mungu wa Elija uko wapi? He said, "Where are you God of Elijah?" Si alikaa mshirika wa kukaa huyu. Was a follower who seated. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebu tusimame ndugu zangu. Let's start our dear brethren. Una mtu wako yuko hapa? Maybe you have a relative here. Una mtu wako yuko nyumbani? Maybe you have somebody 
of yours who is at home whatever problem you have that has been too hard for you have, have the faith that God will remove it from you this si night yeah. Moses to remove it from you Say what well, Moses is praying for me. I'm praying to God to remove this thing from you. Because He is the Lord God of all with flesh. The one with my flesh is Him. The one with your body is Him. It's not the body of a physician. You take it to a physician, that's not His. When the bicycle is spoiled, take it to the one who can, who can do so repair the bicycle. An artisan who can mechanic a bicycle, one who can manage and repair a watch. There's a doctor for the ears and the teeth, others for the teeth, others of the eyes, just that. Everyone when it is personal, dear friend. is the Lord of all with all his bodies throughout the whole world. As you take to other places, you're making you doing some very some very wrong thing. And asking, what is it that I cannot do? My sister told me this morning, from that time I came here, I have not relieved myself. I ate and the stomach is full. I told her, now listen to me, listen to me. My sister was told by God, take a soda out of the house of the preacher. Take it. And if you buy it, you'll change your work up. And keep the change there. Yeah, yeah, kala. But she ate the change. Na nunua na kula. She used to drink. To so eat. Na nunua, they na buy na and drink. Pali, she would buy it, right? Change na chukua na kula. But she would take the change and eat it. Kitumbo kikajandi. The stomach was filled up. Man, I to eat. But she's not obedient. Aliagizwa sila na kula. She was commanded not to eat. And she Aka kept on eating. Aka simu kwa sauti ya mungu. She was not obedient to the voice of God. Alifura tumbo. She had a swollen mungu stomach. Mungu kanituma kanisahilo. But sent me to that church. Kuhubiri. To preach. Aka haja kwangu. She came to me. I told her, what work do you do? Here? When she informed me about after prayers, she said, I just moved around the corner a little bit. I felt some rumbling in my stomach. The whole stomach went off. Amen. Amen. And I, told, I saw in the morning. Yeah. And there are many who are here who are thieves. Up there they are thieves. They eat the arms. They eat the thighs. They eat the promises of God. They eat them. They eat them. That's why they are sick even at this time. They are not here even at this time. The Lord God. The Lord God. If you accept it. You go to the past. He'll do a new thing. As a thief, he'll still be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Close our eyes as we are. And put our hands together. Baba wa mbinguni kwa neno hilo. Ambalo melituma usiku huu. Wewe ni buwana mungu wa wote wenye mwili. Wako hapa chini. Yanyayo sako, ee mungu. Ujua ye shida ya kila moja alie hapa. Ujua ye ugumu wa kila aina ulia juu ya mili hii, ee mungu. Kicho paka migu, kila ugumu bana na usongeza mbele yako. Na usongeza mbele yako. Na usongeza mbele yako. Ewe baba wa mbingini katika jina la bwana Yesu na songeza kila ugumu ulio na yule ndigu ulio na yule dada saa hii mkono wako ewe bwana uwe juu ya mili hii na uharibu kila ugumu ulio tumboni ulio mgongoni ulio maguni ulio kichwani wa mifupa uharibike katika jina la Yesu katika jina la bwana Yesu enye madimoni na mapepo wabaya mapepo wabaya wenye kuharibu wenye kuchinja tokeni kwa jina la bwana Yesu tokeni kwa jina la bwana Yesu tokeni kwa jina la bwana Yesu hivi sasa kwa ule ndugu 
kutoka Timoni mwaharibifu ndani ya viungo vile ndani ya mifupa ile ndani ya masikio ndani ya tumbo ndani ya mikono kwa jina la Yesu toka tokeni mapepo wote tokeni kwa jina la Bwana Yesu tokeni kwa jina la Bwana Yesu toka 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 timoni shetani mwaribifu wa magonjwa kila aina na udhaifu wa kila aina na mateso ya kila aina yaondoke sasa yaondoke sasa yahame sasa yahame sasa udhaifu wa kila aina ulio juu ya mili hii ninaoamuru kwa jina la Bwana Yesu na amburu kila magonjwa kupona kila udhaifu kupona mateso ya uvimbe kupona mateso ya upofu kupona magonjwa ya sina kupona magonjwa ya usinifu kupona kwa jina la Bwana Yesu kwa jina la Bwana Yesu Maumivu kila aina yaharibike yaharibike kwa jina la Bwana Yesu la Bwana Yesu la Bwana Yesu pepo za masikini zihame 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 pepo za udhaifu wa kila aina token 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 pepo letia ugumu wa usas pepo letia ugumu wa usas pepo letia usito wa usas ni wakati wako kwa ule ndugu na kwa dada uti shina na bwana na utoke na utoke na utoke na mutoke mutoke Mutak 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 pepo saulev pepo za uvutaj pepo za tamaa mbaya zalana zitoke pepo za usinifu pepo za usharat ninawaamuru nyote ninawaamuru nyote ninawaamuru nyote Muhame 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 usiku kwa jina la Bwana Yesu kwa jina la Bwana Yesu kila ugonjwa mahali ulipo na udhaifu wa kila aina milini humu milini humu e Bwana timiza neno lako maana unaliangalia ili ulitimize Hivyo bana kila ugumu Mungu baba usiku wa leo timiza neno lako kwa mili hii ipate haja za mioyo Timiza bana ahadi yako kwa mili hii kichopaka miguu bana timiza neno lako uponyaji baraka na amani na wokofu juu ya watu wako na msamaha wa dhambi zao na maovu yao E Mungu warehemu na watimizie haja za mioyo yao. Wamekubali wamesadiki. Bana warehemu na watimizie imani yako itendayo kazi milini mwao, maishani mwao usiku huu. Sante bana. Sante bana. Sante bana kutenda. Sante bana kutimiza. Sante bana kutimiza. Shetani ni haribu mbegu za kiume. Shetani ni haribu mbegu za uzazi. Shetani muharibifu. Ni wakati wako utoke pale kwa ule ntigo, kwa ule dada. Utoke pale kwa ule ntigo, kwa ule dada. Usiku wasio waume, waumbike kwa waume. Wasio waume, waumbike kwa waume katika jina la Bwana Yesu. 
waliogea uzo na mashetani usiku huu wagregeshe bana haja zao kamili katika jina la bwana Yesu pepo za tibi pepo za pumu zipone upungufu wa damu utoweke kwa kila mili usiku huu kwa jina la Yesu afya ishuke juu ya ndugu na wadada afya ya bwana ishuke juu ya kila ndugu atasikae dada atasikae afya ya Mungu ali hai ishuke milini humo sante 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 oh haleluya mimi nilikuwa nikila mnavu i used to eat swala na tumbo linajaa and the stomach would fill up mama watoto akanambia wewe ni mpingaji my wife told me you're an opposer nikasikitika sana i was so sad indeed nikaanza kula mnavu hata leo sifuri tumbo i started eating swala na i don't have much swala in stomach anymore sasa vile ambavyo huyu whatever you don't eat hunywi whatever you don't drink siku hii this day kula maana ni siku ya furaha kwa watu wote it because the day of joy to people na we shiriki ya furaha utapona you partake in the joy you'll be healed usishiriki huzuni don't partake in sorrows Usishiriki masikitiko don't indulge yourself in sadness Usishiriki maombolezo don't partake in mourning Usishiriki ni furaha partake in this joy Hallelujah Hallelujah Eh ndugu zangu Oh my brethren Kwa hivyo tusimame So let's stand up Ndugu mmoja hapa tufungie ibada One brother here to close the service for us Right here umetumia mtumishi wako katika kila uwezo wako bwana maana umeona bwana tunaishi mbele zako tuna mambo magumu ambayo bwana hayawezekani kwa akili zetu asante Mungu wa mwanzilishi kumtumia mtumishi wako maana umeona hayo magumu yamedumu ndani yetu maana tumeenenda kwa njia za mataifa umeona tunajifunza njia za mataifa hatuna kudumu kwa njia zako nashukuru bwana nikiamini kutoka leo umetuponya kanisa kule kufuata njia za mataifa ndio sasa bwana umetufungua umeponya kila magumu yaliyokuwa ndani yetu asante kufungua kanisa lako Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi kwa jinsi ulivyotumia mtumishi wako umemtumia kwa uwezo ambao bwana umeutayarisha tangu jana asante kwa uhuru umetupa asante kwa ufunguo umetufungua asante kwa uzima Asante kwa mibaraka kuponya kila nguvu za shetani kutuponya kila magumu ndani yetu na kutupa amani sisi na nyumba zetu kutoka siku la leo nikiamini kila aliyekubali moyoni kutoka sasa utampa kujifunza njia zako Mungu badala ya za mataifa asante kutimiza tulaze kwa amani usingizi wa amani Nikiamini kuna mabadiliko makubwa maishani mwetu maana umetumia mtumishi wako kuomba na umemsikia na umeliponya kanisa asante uzidishie mtumishi wako uwezo ufahamu uelewi ili bwana tumpeleke kesho bwana ukatupe kula na kunywa kupitia kwake mupake kila mafuta na munyu katika usemi katika roho mtakatifu Asante kutimiza Mungu wa maa mwanzilishi naamini waenda kutupumua kwa amani Asante kutupumua kwa amani utupe usiku wa amani usiku wa baraka usiku wa kufunguliwa usingizi wa amani Asante kutimiza Mungu wa mwanzilishi naomba nikiamini umetimiza ni kwa jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu